Hey. Hey. We're going to see a rival now, the Alamo. Hope it's good. Who's in this movie? Amy Anyone? Adams, Jeremy Renner, Farce Whitaker, directed by Denis Villeneuve. Do you know Denis Villeneuve? Denis Villeneuve? No. Yeah, he's French. <laughs> you don't know Denis Villeneuve? No. It's nice. But I can't here. watch anywhere except home. I know, too. Yeah. So. Trying to get tickets for the arrival. It's just arrival. And they only have seats left in the front row. So we'll have to go to another theater, another right? Theater, but when what are you doing now? I'm looking up to see if there's tickets available on Fandango at another theater at Rich Hill or Red Plains. We have to pick up the ticket now, guest services. Hey, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Tickets uh, straight down to your left, okay? Enjoy your movie. Thank you. Thank you. Well. Every step that I take is a first step. At the end of the movie, some guy yelled out. So, where, what happened? Where did they come from? He was like really pissed off, right? Because right. he didn't get yeah, the answers he wanted. To laugh. But yeah. everyone laughed because we kind of felt the same way, right? Yep. It was a little uh, out, a little way out there. A little, I don't know, far fetched. <laughs> I mean, it was a little confusing, but I think basically the whole time when you thought they were flashbacks, they were really, it was really her In the future. looking into the future. That's the twist. And. Even though it wasn't, didn't seem like a great future, you still enjoy the time you have on life, you know, on Earth and life. I think I don't know. I think it's the point of the message. But the best thing was at the end, <laughs> that guy at the end goes, "What? Where they come from?" Mom, what was your favorite part of the movie? Uh, when it was over. <laughs> they used the same music as Shutter Island. It was, it was interesting but confusing. You wanted to keep watching it, but at the same time. Um, it was just a little too much, like, I don't know, a little overdone. We go home and see where I live. Hi, baby. You miss us. You miss us. Oh, look at them. Oh, my goodness. Hi, baby. Hi. Look at them. They're so oh, my cute. God. <laughs> so what's the update on your Food Network show that you're going to audition for? So instead of going to Jersey City on Monday, I have to just do a Skype interview tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the house because they changed the interview to Tuesday and I can't do Tuesday because I have work. So instead, tomorrow at 11 o'clock I have a Skype interview. I don't know what to expect, so I'm going to practice making up the pie tonight in 20 minutes so that I'm ready for tomorrow in case I do make a pie in front of them. So we'll see what happens. But, but you're just going to practice tonight. You're not going to bring the pie tomorrow. No, I'm, I'm going to be home tomorrow. I'm not gonna bring but, it anywhere. Oh yeah, so they can even so try what I'm making. Are you gonna cook on Skype for them? I guess. That's awkward, right? Yeah, and it's gonna be like one a one angle thing. Like, where do I put the computer so they can see me cooking? I don't know. 